Hello ladies, gentlemen, and Bulldogs everywhere, and welcome back to another weekly episode of the Butler Sports Report presented by the Butler Collegian. I'm Jake Bedell. I'm Jack Shinkowski. And while the weather may be getting cold outside, the action is certainly heating up throughout the athletic programs around Butler's campus. While we're seeing some of the fall, uh, sp most of the fall sports have concluded, the winter programs are just getting underway. Jack, what can you tell us? Yeah, well, it was a chilly night outside of Hinkle, but the Bulldogs had a great night inside as they won 90-68 to over Miami of Ohio. Uh, the Bulldogs shot a scorching 60% from the field. Uh, Kamar Baldwin, 21 points, 6 assists. Uh, but the big story was the coming out party for Joey Bronk. 17 points on 7-for-7 seven seven shooting and 6 boards. He had a phenomenal game and he's going to be a big piece for them this year. Definitely, definitely. Uh, the men's basketball team is going to look to uh, extend that winning streak to three games this week. They have two matchups, one coming against Detroit Mercy at 6.30 p.m. on Monday, as well as an 8 o'clock matchup against Ole Miss uh, next Friday. Uh, there's a lot of hype around those games, particularly against the SEC opponents with a later game coming against Florida later on in the season. But I think that uh, this game might not necessarily be as competitive. I think that uh, Ole Miss might still be finding uh, a new tempo in order to start the season off on the right foot. They finished uh, the 2017 uh, and 18 season. Uh, with 11, losing 11 out of 12 games to finish the season. So they were hitting a rough patch at the season's end last year. So if Butler plays how they did against Miami this last week, they should be able to walk out of that game with a win, and they should be able to extend their record to 3-0. Absolutely. So that's for the basketball team. For the football team, they had a great win on senior night, beating Stetson 28-23. Will Marty had three total touchdowns, two passing, one rushing. And we've talked about Will Marty a lot this season. In this game, it was wide receiver Stephen Dennis leading the team with four catches, 161 yards, and both of Will Marty's touchdown passes. And a game-saving defensive stand at the end of the game gave Butler the win. Yeah, football is going to play their final game of the 2018 season this upcoming Saturday against Davidson. Uh, unfortunately, they can't finish above 500 this year, but they'll look to go out on a two-game win streak, hopefully this upcoming week. Uh, Davidson sits uh, seventh in the Pioneer League, sitting at 5-4 and four overall with a 2-4 and four conference record. Uh, they are very effective on offense. I will say that they have the most touchdowns scored in the Pioneer Football League with 57 on the season. So they're really efficient, efficient on the offensive side of the ball. However, they do lack on defense, and that's where the Butler Bulldogs will look to capitalize this upcoming Saturday. So if they're able to do that uh, and capitalize on the 39 points per game average scored against Davidson's defense, the Butler Bulldogs might be able to come out with a win this upcoming week. Absolutely. So uh, bet the over yes. and come yes. ready for some offensive fireworks. Finally, we go to women's soccer. They lost to Georgetown in the Big East Championship 1-0. The Hoyas scored in the third minute of the game, and basically they parked the bus and couldn't uh, the, the Bulldogs couldn't get a goal pass to even up the game. They lost in that championship and were not given an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament, so the season is over for your Lady Dogs. Yeah, unfortunately for them, that was the last game of the year, but I think I speak for everybody, including myself, Jack, the entire student body in the athletics department, when we say that we're very proud of how the women's team performed this year. Finishing this season with a 13-6-1 record and a run at the conference championship, you can't ask for much more than that. Uh, 31 goals were scored on 112 shots on goal, so that's really, really efficient. And the team, uh, they averaged about 13 shots per game, whereas opponents only averaged about eight. Between playing great offense, phenomenal defense throughout the course of the year, to the seniors, we say thank you for your hard work and commitment for the last four years. And to the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, we look forward to the success you're going to have in the 2019 season. Awesome. So what else do we have a lot going around campus this week? Well, volleyball is going to have a very busy week as they're going to close out their season with three games this upcoming week. Uh, a home game today against DePaul is going down at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. And then they take the trip east to Villanova and Georgetown to close out the week. Uh, that will take place on Thursday and Friday. For women's basketball, they had a really good week last week. They uh, started their season with a 73-35 to uh, 35 victory over Eastern Illinois, so they looked really good. They're going to look to continue that as a pair of matches against Murray State on Tuesday and Western Illinois on Saturday. Women's swimming is at IUPUI this weekend for a tournament there. That takes place from Friday until Sunday. And the cross-country teams are in Madison, Wisconsin for the NCAA championships. But that's all we have this week.
Awesome. Well, that's it for this edition of the Butler Sports Report presented by the Butler Collegian. I'm Jack Shinkowski. I'm Jake Bedell. Tune in next week.